I dreamt I was on an ocean. You and the others on the distant shore. A brand new trailer for the highly anticipated second season of Westworld just dropped. And this thing basically acts as a masterclass in how to craft a trailer. It shows us a ton, yet it shows us nothing. And that being said, we definitely need to bring in our team to help us out with this one. Oh, and before we go forward, spoilers for the first season of Westworld, obviously. So proceed with caution. Okay. I dreamt I was on an ocean. You and the others on the distant shore. The first shot opens up on good old Bernard, looking confused like he did for, well, most of the first season. But this time it looks like he's gonna be helping the humans hunt down rogue hosts, as he gives what sounds like Dolores a firm no when she asks if he is with the park's hosts. Were you with us? No. It's like Bernard is still around and he's on the human side. I'm good, Bernard's back. I love Bernard. These shots right here are a big question mark as to when they take place, since Westworld is so well known for playing around with time as a storytelling device. But at first glance, it does seem like these take place after the events of the first season. And the park's security team is bringing in the big guns to take back control of Westworld. But wait, we also see Luke Hemsworth's character as Stubbs. What's weird about this is that by the end of season one, it was presumed that he was dead. So did he survive or is he actually a robot? Or maybe this is just another flashback and this whole scenario has actually played out before. Dreams don't mean anything, Dolores. That answer doesn't seem to satisfy you. We're starting super dark already. A lot of sit down talks with him the first season. I have nothing to say, I'm speechless. Here we get another classic chat between Bernard and Dolores. And we see that Dolores is pretty unsatisfied with the answer that dreams really mean nothing. But we know from season one, the importance of dreams. They're part of what is labeled as the maze that leads to consciousness and ultimately freedom. Now we're not totally sure here, but it seems like Dolores is in a library, perhaps the office of Anthony Hopkins character, Dr. Robert Ford. This could very well be after the first season finale of the show. After Dolores has killed Ford, and the documents she's reading tell her the extent of the scheme she's been a part of. This would definitely be a good source for her character's motivation in the second season. And we're sure she'll want to know why she was included in this grand plan and what it all truly means. That reckoning is here. All right. Right here we get another classic Westworld edition of a popular song. This time it's Nirvana's Heart Shaped Box. Like a classical version of Nirvana happening. And we gotta say it works really well. Just corpses everywhere. Now this is clearly the end product of the events of the first season. We see a whole lot of dead investors. I mean, we all knew that that big party at the end of season one was definitely a bust, but it really did not turn out well for anyone who attended. It seems like either Bernard or possibly the real Bernard, Arnold, that's right, we're not actually counting out the possibility that Arnold is in fact still alive, is walking to the site of all the slain Westworld investors with a National Guard type of team. We even get a shot of what looks like a new character here. Is he the next in line to take control of the park now that its founders are dead? We're betting so. And we expect a pretty bloody response as his first act as the big man in charge. In fact, Throughout the trailer, it seems that this is the universal human response to the events of the first season. I like Tanny Newton's whole like side story. I'm excited to explore that. I think that was like an interesting thing. I like how it's kind of totally separate from what Dolores is doing. Here Maeve is kissing goodnight her daughter that we saw in flashbacks in the first season. We last saw Maeve with a chance to get freedom. Freedom from the park, which she was initially programmed to do to cause all the mayhem at the end of the first season. But instead, she went back into the park to find her daughter. So it seemed like she actually broke free from her loop. So is this her finding her daughter right here, or is it a dream? I mean, was her daughter even real in the first place, or is she just something implanted in Maeve's brain? We've got a feeling that these big questions won't be answered until at least the very end of the second season. And looks like we're still getting flashbacks in the season too, which is a good thing. Here we see the man in black, once again as a young man. But this time his look is much more sinister than what we've seen before. Looks like he's settling into the role of the villain very well. So we're still gonna get flashbacks from like 
50 years ago. I mean, I really like the evolution that the Man in Black took from this regular guy in the beginning of the first season and kind of you slowly see him turn into this monster, essentially. Here we get what we assume is more of the human military response to last season. They're just mowing down an entire group of hosts that look like they're on the run. All right, this one right here, this is a big one. It seems that the park's hosts have learned to prepare each other. This could present a huge problem for the humans tasked to get the park's robots under control. Is this really what you want? It's us or them. Dolores says it's us or them, seemingly confirming her motivations for this season, and furthers the larger sense of all-out war that weaves through this trailer. Okay, this shot is just awesome. This is what we assume is a Native American host riding up on a horse with his face covered in war paint. We seriously hope this becomes a main story thread in the second season. Looks like he's rolling up to save someone, but we can't totally be certain who. Possibly Logan or even Hector from the first season. Isn't this the scene from the first season where like the man in black before he became the man in black like, sends that other dude off like naked in the desert and it looks like it's a flashback. Here we get Clementine running from humans driving some sort of dune buggy type vehicles. And yeah, she's on a horse. Honestly, we're not thinking she's gonna be making it very far in this season. Okay, wait, stop. These robots just walking around with no skin on is so unsettling. And it looks like they're helping the humans dispose of the dead. What's really interesting is that it's throwing what looks like a human scientist into a pool of that famous life-giving milk we all remember from the first season. So maybe they're trying to cover up the horrific uprising that took place? And maybe that's how this milk is really made, from humans. Soylent Green is people. I'm gonna burn this whole thing to the ground. Here we get yet another taste of the human response to the park's problem. The Man in Black himself has seemed to turn on the robots, and even Westworld as a whole, as he states that he wants to burn the whole thing to the ground. Hey, Eastworld or Samurai World, or whatever it's called. Okay, here we go. Samurai World. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited for Samurai World. So is there like, there's like a Japan World, maybe? Either way, we're getting a much better look at the park that was teased in the first season. We're talking samurais, geishas, the whole nine. It's awesome. This right here is the single most important shot of the entire trailer, and it could totally be a misdirect. So there's all these scenes where like, they're clearly not in Westworld, or they're in a different version of Westworld, something that feels, it looks like contemporary cities. It looks like we see Dolores in the real world. This is a huge deal, because we still have no idea where or when the park really is, or what the outside world in general really looks like. You frighten me sometimes, Dolores. Would you ever be frightened of me? Evan Rachel Wood is flawless in every way. And we end on a smile from Dolores that, based on your view, is either unsettling or comforting. Are you team robot or team human? Pick a side. All right, I'm in. Yes. Like, that's, that's a good trailer. Like, who knows what's going to happen? How the robot's kind of taking control and the humans are trying to fight them back, or is that vice versa? Have they, have they killed most of the robots because of what happened at the end of the first season? It's like a visual masterpiece. And that's it. The second season of Westworld premieres April 22nd on HBO. And be sure to let us know if you found anything else in the trailer. And be sure to check back at Fandom for more.